Welcome back to my Concrete Vessels Adventures. Uh, my voice might sound a bit muffled. I'm already wearing my mask. Now, for this video, I, uh, I got a new mold off of Amazon. And I'm not quite 100% sure uh, how this is going to hold up. It's one of these molds. It doesn't really have a support like my other molds have a brace. Uh, I guess the support is this in the middle. Uh, so I have done my pre-calculations for the hydrostone. I have 141 grams of water and I have 444 grams of the hydrostone. And I figured this out 444 grams of hydrostone. I figured this out with this weighing, uh, let's see, 274 gram water fill is what uh, I'm going for here. So um, let's just jump right into it. Uh, you'll probably see some cuts in the video. I have a new table. My husband was nice enough to grab one for me. And all right, so there'll be pauses, there'll be cuts, and um, I will be doing a marbling effect with uh, this acrylic blue paint. All right, uh, really nervous because I, I really hope this just doesn't fall apart. But hey, you know, if it does, that's only $34 down the drain. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So I've already got my water measured there. I'm just going to tear this out. Okay, I like this table too because it's not glass, so I can use my vibrating machine, which I haven't been using for the cement, uh, for the hydrostone at all. I've been, I have been using it for the cement all. I still think maybe I wasted my money and that was $70 Canadian from Amazon, so that's a lot of money to waste. However, Let's do this and then we're going to sift this in and just let it dry bed for five minutes and that will be where the first cut will be. So the one mistake I did make when I was first doing this is that I just dumped all the hydrostone in. I didn't bother doing it this way. You know, gently kind of sift it in like this because you want to create that uh, dry bed effect. Now, I have used less water. Uh, I used 141. Uh, I originally calculated it to be 146, but because I feel like I have too much water, both in my hydrostone and my cemental candles, or candles, concrete vessels. So, I think um, I will keep a little bit of water off to the side so it's handy if I need it. Like if the formula is obviously going to be too thick. I also think with the hydrostone, and I could be wrong, that the acrylic paint might even, uh, for my marbling, might even thin it out a bit. So I'm at the five minute mark. I just want to make sure, put this away. Make sure my guy is all ready to go. Yep. I have this silicone mold right here that I'm not 100% sure about. A lid mold. And in case I am completely off with this, this mold. And before I forget, I should grab uh, some extra water just in case I, I need it. Okay. You would have seen a cut in the video. I was just grabbing some extra water just in case my calculations are way off and I end up needing it. All right, I am at that point where I have my hydrostone that's been sitting in the water for that dry bed effect. I got water if I need it, paint, and let's mix. I forgot I grabbed my spoon. I was going to grab my spatula, but 
do have a spatula here. Now, so far so good with using a little bit more water because I do feel like I have more of a smoothie-like consistency and it's not so watery with still being watery enough. <laughs> Trying to mix really good with my slotted spoon so that I can get all the clumps out. Scraping the side of the bowl. And I also got to remember to tap as well. Maybe, I'm hoping maybe I did a good job of adjusting my formula enough. We'll see how much waste I have, which is why I do like having my formula written down. Uh, just using Jay's advice to have more consistent results. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've done a good enough job of getting out most of my clumps here. I'll set that off to the side. So I have not too much of a mess going on. All right. Now, I gotta make sure I use very little dye. One. Okay, even that might have been too much. Hope not. Yeah, so in the Hydrostone, it, it feels like the dye, at least compared to the cemental, tends to spread out a lot more and become a little bit more concentrated. So I'm a little bit worried that that was even too much paint, but we'll see. Oh, good. You can see what's going on there. Nice little air bubble right there. That's not good. That's actually where... Well, I'll have to be sure to tap that out there. As long as I didn't use... All right, so I am noticing a pattern here. The pattern is that... I am definitely going to have to tap this on out. Otherwise, I'm going to have a lot of air bubbles in there. Do I have this right? I'm having a hard time believing this is a lid. I hope this is a lid mold because if it's not, well, I got some stuff going in there anyway. All right, now, good news is very little waste, but a lot of air bubbles. Okay, I think I might have been too two on in my uh, I have a feeling for this I might let's get this out of the way I might not be able to make the lid with this one this is my first time using this particular mold I am going to let this do its thing. I'm gonna leave that lid separate. I have absolutely zero waste. I might have to adjust this by a couple grams.
because I, I feel like I was a little bit off on the water fill. I'm just going to leave this like that. But so far it looks really good. I will check it in 30 minutes, uh, see if it's ready for demolding. Uh, and then if not, I will just cut, do a cut and you will see, you will see the demolding process. All right, we'll see you soon. Okay, so I'm actually at 45 minutes because that's been my experience. I'm just going to adjust this a bit. Um, it is hard. So I'm thinking I could have even gone with uh, 30 minutes. So noted for the next one I make. All right. Um, so there is a bit too much ink in this one. I don't know if you can tell. It, it is really warm, but it's definitely hard. But there is that spot right there where the paint's really concentrated. So for the next one I make, obviously I will do less. Um, also on this, I don't know if you can tell, I didn't quite fill it all the way to the top. So I need to adjust my formula with that as well. Add more hydrostone. I seem to have better luck adding five grams less water. That seems to be my sweet point for my calculations. And then we have the lid. All right. So I'm just going to demold the lid first. Uh, the nice thing is it's very thin, so this silicone mold is working really nice to come out. All right, so this, it's very, yeah, see, it's like paper thin. That looks beautiful. I really, oh, let me make sure I got the right angle there. I really love the design. This is supposed to fit on here. Really happy with this one. So we'll set that off to the side. Very fragile, though. All right, let's um, do the creme de la, la resistance. Okay, so I have some bleeding of liquid. So there is definitely, and I have some, a little bit of crack in there. That's not good. All right. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of crack in there. I think maybe because I didn't fill it up enough. All right. I've got some chipping coming off. Ooh, lots of paint. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, well. Hopefully some air drying. Oh, wow. So I need to mix my paint a lot more. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be a throwaway one. I'm going to give it a lot of time to obviously for that paint to dry. However, the mold itself is, looks really good learning experience, you know. Oh boy. Okay. So it looks really nice outside, like inside rather, but the outside, as you can see, I have a lot of paint, a lot of paint leaking. All right. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to make some uh, adjustments there. All right, so I am going to clean up my mold and I'm going to try again, this time without using so much paint. So I'm just trying to wipe some of this gathered paint off. Oh, it's so pretty too, and then it's messed up with this. All right, so I got so much ink on there. Yeah, it's not good. So I'm just going to come back. I'm going to wipe this off with a, with a rag and try to get a bit more rather than just digging out with my fingers. Okay, so for my next one, I am going to use less paint, even less than I already did. And we're going to give this another go after I wash everything up and I will film my second attempt with my new vessel uh, shortly. But you won't see that video till next Saturday. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.